collection that I've always stuck with. Hey guys, so we're gonna be doing the same today. Hey guys, so today I'm gonna be doing another full face of first impressions because it's the week of full face of first impressions. So obviously you're gonna be seeing only full face of first impressions. Whew, I talk a lot. So yes, I have been loving doing this full face of first impressions week because I get to try so many new things every day. It's like, yes! my kind of heaven so yes color materialistic and totally agree to it anyways without any further ado i'm going to start today's full face of first impressions and the primer i'm going to be using today is going to be this becca backlight priming filter now i have the sample of this i bought it with my jacqueline hill palette i don't have the full size of this but i recently saw in her ride or die bag again by jacqueline hill that this is her ride or die primer and i was like should have gotten this Anyways, I get to try this first, which is a great thing. So I'm just going to, you know, try it on. So it says this lightweight illuminating primer creates a smooth canvas and acts like an instant filter, blurring imperfections for a soft, focused glow. All about that light. All about that light. So yeah, got my mirror in place. Everything's in place. Let's do this. So this primer has a little bit of tint to it, which is a good thing because it helps in blurring the imperfections. So I'm gonna warm up the product between my fingers first, and then I'm just gonna like smoothen it out. It also has a little bit of illumination to it, which I love. All about that glowy life, as I said, and it smells really good. I love the fragrance. From what I can see, my skin is looking luminous, like luminous. It's looking more luminous than luminous in waters and batteries. The primer doesn't feel heavy at all. As it said, it's a lightweight primer. It's actually pretty lightweight. Love this. And there's just so much more in this sample. I hate to get samples like this because then it's like, how am I gonna stir you? Anyways, the primer's pretty lightweight and it's on, it's popped on. Let's move to the foundation. For foundations, I'm gonna be using MAC Studio Face and Body Foundation. Now, before putting this foundation on, I would like to take a moment and say that the person at the store matched me in America. So she was giving me a lighter shade than this because she asked me if I wanted to match it to my neck or to my face. I was like, neck, thanks, please. So she was giving me the foundation which was meant for my face. Now I have like different tones in my body. My body is extremely uneven. My chest, like my decolletage area and my face match. My neck doesn't match to any of it. So it's like completely weird. <laughs> my face is like that. So anyways, if this doesn't match me, it's all on the staff and not onto me. And can we also take a moment and say the lighting at makeup stores is the most horrible lighting to decide your makeup. Now you can go in, you can decide from C1 to C20, you can match all of them and the staff is gonna like, that's a perfect match. And you're gonna be like, yeah, everything matches me. Like everything is meant to be for me. And as soon as you go out, you're like, what? So yes, that becomes a disaster. Makeup stores really need to change their lighting to something that's more real. So anyways, without further ado, we have the MAC Studio Body and Found Face Foundation, Face and Body Foundation. So it says to shake first. So I have a little bit of foundation on the back of my hand. It is not extremely watery, nor it's extremely thick. It's somewhere in between. The shade seems a pretty good match for my neck. Hopefully, once it's blended out, it remains the same. And then I'm gonna take my beloved and extremely missed Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. I haven't used this in ages, so I'm gonna be using this today. And I'm just gonna pat down my foundation and dab it into my skin. This blends in like a dream, but the coverage is pretty sheer. I'm gonna do another layer, obviously. But yeah, the match is pretty good for my neck. Thank you to the person who matched me. But thanks to me, because I asked for a darker shade, she was giving me a lighter shade. The shade is C4, if anyone's interested in knowing. So just adding a layer of foundation and seeing if this still works well after layering up. Because sometimes foundations turn funny once you like layer them up. Oh, and also if my eyes seem a little red, they are because they had red eye shadow yesterday on them. Yes, we are getting to that life where I apply crazy colors on my eyelids for no reason whatsoever. So yeah, please ignore that. The coverage is still pretty sheer. You can see through my flaws from this side that I have some acne scarring there. So you can definitely see them through. 
but I love how luminous and glowy my skin is looking and how natural it's looking. It's not looking fake at all. It's not looking cakey, which is something I really like. So yes, we are done with the foundation. I'm going to move on to highlighting and concealing. And for that, I'm going to be using this Kiko Natural Concealer. I got this from Europe. Haven't tried it yet. I know it's horrible, but yes. So this is what it looks like. It's definitely lighter than my uh, skin tone because it is for a highlighting purpose. And this is in the shade 02. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of it and pop it right in the inner corners and drag it in, you know, an inverted triangle shape right here. It has quite heavy yellow undertones, which is a great thing because I can use that for my horrible under eye circles. I'm going to first then just blend this out before highlighting the other features of my face because I don't know how quickly this will set. So just patting this in. Again something pretty natural and blends in like a dream. Products that just blend into your skin make me so happy. Like I hate working on a foundation for 20 odd hours and still it looking like Hmm, girl, you gotta work a little more on that. Products like these would just like bow dab when they're like done. I have my heart, have my heart, have my soul, have my money, have my everything. So I'm just highlighting the centers of my face, which is between my brows and my forehead, down the center of my nose, a little bit on the cupid's bow and chin. Also gonna put a little on the corners of my mouth, just a little. And then just blend all of this in. See, four dabs and it's blended. That's what I like. To powder and set my face, I'm going to be using this NYX Highlighter and Contour Pro Palette. So this has my skin tone shade, a banana powder and different contour shades in there. So I'm going to be using this. Now, a lot of people swear by this. I know Shanexo swears by this. She loves it more than her high-end contour palettes. So I'm like, hmm, nice. For my under eyes, I'm going to be using the banana shade right here. It's a yellow shade and I'm going to be setting my under eyes with that. So these rotate individually as well, like the contour palettes, they can be refilled up as well. So I'm just using a blusher brush actually to set my under eyes. Okay, so these are quite pigmented. At least the banana powder is extremely pigmented. And they're quite soft as well. It has definitely brightened my under eyes way, way, way more. So to set my face, I'm going to be using this shade right here, which is the blender shade. So what the science behind this is that you highlight with these shades and then you contour with these shades and use this shade to just merge and blend them in together. So this is supposed to be like a skin shade and that's what I'm going to be using it for. So I'm just going to like first set my face down with this. And now for contouring, I'm going to be using this shade right here, this one, the second one. So I'm just going to pick it up on an angled brush and I'm just going to carve out my cheekbones. The powders are quite blendable, like you can see, they're not harsh. To be honest with you guys, I used to feel like why should I spend 2500 on this palette when I can get like Anastasia Beverly Hills in 3200 or 3400. Now what I'm seeing is that they have 6 shades, this has 8 shades, so it's essentially 2 more shades in it and it's like refillable which is not the case in Anastasia palette I guess. So yeah, probably it's not a bad deal at all now and the quality is really good guys. Time to blush up my face and for blush I'm going to be using this Essence Blush Up Powder Blush. It's an ombre blush. I have two variants in this. I'm going to show you the other variant. So this is what the other variant looks like. The other variant is quite pink and this is more on the corally orangey side. So I'm going to be using this today. And this is the shade Heat Wave. Beautiful shade. So I'm just going to pick up a brush, swirl all of the colors together in and then just like apply it on my cheeks and it's pigmented. It's definitely very pigmented. So I'm gonna just blend this out because I just like swirled it a couple of times. And the color is gorgeous. For my highlighter, I'm gonna dive in again into the NYX Contour Palette. It has a highlighting shade right here. It's quite pearly, like I like. So I'm just gonna take my fan brush, dip it right in there, and then just apply it on my cheekbones. 
So it's a very subtle glow. It's not over the top at all. It's a very subtle glow. For my eyebrows, I'm going to be using the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Brunette. It's quite thin like you can see. So it has a pencil on one side which is again very tiny. Hopefully you can see how thin that is. And the other side it has a spoolie which comes in very handy. I love spoolies. So I'm just going to comb through my brows first. And then I'm going to take the pencil side of it. And just like work my way in in short strokes. Just how I like. The pencil isn't creamy at all which is a very good thing. If you guys have been following me for a while, you would know that I hate creamy eyebrow pencils because they tend to make my eyebrows clump together. And because it's so tiny, it can actually like mimic your hair growth very well and like work in between the brows really well. So you can really fill in the sparse areas. Like I have certain sparse areas between my brows. It can like really go in and fill it in. And still not make it look unnatural. You can see the difference between my brows. Once I'm done with that, I'm again going to take the spoolie and run it through my brows to make sure that they look more natural. And if there's any clumping, it just gets away. Although there is no clumping, but you know, just to make it foolproof. Really like the brow pencil, really like it. Moving on to the eyes, I'm going to be using this Physicians Formula Nude Eyeshadow Strips, I guess they're called. Not too sure. So they have beautiful neutral shimmery shades, as you can see. So I'm just going to be picking up, um, I think, the second shade. Hopefully you can see the second shade from right here. And I'm just going to pick it up on a blender brush. I'm going to apply it all over my lid as a wash of color. While these eyeshadows are soft, they're just semi-pigmented. They're not extremely pigmented. They're just semi-pigmented. I'll try using it with a flat shader brush and see what sort of a payoff do I get. So they have a better payoff with the flat shader brush than they had with like a blending brush. I would still say that they're not like extremely pigmented. They're, you know, very decently pigmented. Decently. Then I'm going to take the lightest shade from the palette or the strips and I'm just going to put this in my inner corners as my inner corner highlight. As you can see, they're very decently pigmented. They're not extremely pigmented with any sort of brush. I'm also going to put this right below my brow on my brow bone to highlight that brow. Then I'm going to take these two NYX liquid liners. These are their NYX crystal liner. So I have a black one which is called as um, crystal onyx and then I have a clear one which is called as um, what is this? Crystal lip. Hip. Crystal hip. Sorry. Lip. Crystal hip. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be making a double liner with the black one and then filling it in with the crystal hip. The trend of double lining and then filling in with another liquid liner or glitter liner is so hot right now. So I had to totally jump on the bandwagon and do it. So I'm just taking my black liquid liner right now and lining my eyes. I love the, um, you know, the pen of this, the pen, the whatever this is. I love it. It's very soft and thin. And then I'm just going to wing it out. Like that. I want it to be a little bit more glittery than what it is. Once my wing liner is in place, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw another one parallel to it. I need concentration for this. Some people have the talent to draw their eyeliner 10 meters away from their eye and not realize it. I need concentration for it. My hollow wing liner is complete on this side. I'm going to do the same on this side and then we're going to be filling it in with the second glitter liner. Won't lie, I struggled a little bit getting the wing liner. It, it was a struggle because of my own lack of skills. Plus I got a little bit on this eye like because I was just trying to see it and I did like this and it transferred onto my lid because it wasn't dried up. Not a good feeling, but yes, now I'm just going to be taking the crystal one and I'm going to be filling it in. I do wish these were a little bit more pigmented and a little bit more glittery than what they are. So I'm just taking this. So 
So I let the crystal line on a couple of times to get this sort of a pigmentation and now I feel it's pretty fine. So I'm gonna go back into the Physicians Formula Nude Eyeshadow Strip. I'm gonna pick up this dark shade, the second last one from here. And I'm gonna be putting this on my lower lash line to just give it some sort of a definition because right now it's bare and it has a slightly red peeking through which I really don't want to peek through. So I'm just gonna be putting it on my lower lash line. The eyeshadow is soft and smooth, it's just that I don't have pigmentation. Nothing much. And now it's time for mascara and for mascara I'm going to be using NYX Le Mascara Extra Mints or the skinny mascara in simpler English terms and the wand of this is thin guys, it's so 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 skinny. So I'm going to be applying it to my lashes, I'm extra 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 excited for my lower lashes because I used the pack mascara with the you know thin brush and it made my lower lashes like a bang bang boom. So I'm really excited to try this on my lower lashes as well. So I will start with my top lashes obviously. It feels like this mascara like really separates your lashes and coats each one of them. Like sometimes when your wand is way too fat, it, it like clumps up your lashes and it doesn't like really coat each of the lash. This on the other hand is it looks like it coats each of the lash with a lot of love. So I'm gonna be doing my lower lashes which you can probably see a little better than the top lashes because I have so much going on my top lashes. So I'm just gonna coat my lower lashes for you to see the real me or the real lashes or the real work of the mascara. You get it. Again, I just have the same feeling. It really separates your lower lashes and coats each one of it without, you know, just hitting everywhere on your face. So for lips, I'm using this Spa Crayon by Sigma. I've had this for a while, never used it. This is in the shade Ruby Kund or Ruby Kund. I'm not really sure how you pronounce that. It's a beautiful neutral pink color. So I'm going to be putting it on my lips with the hopes it's not going to wash me out. Very pigmented, like you can see. And creamy at the same time with being matte. So with that, I finished another full face of first impressions. Overall, I feel that I fell in love with the face products more than the eye products today. The eye products were pretty okay-ish, but the face products were like the standout heroes of this. I love the primer. I'm probably gonna get a full size pretty soon. That foundation, the concealer, the contour, everything from the face. Overall, I'm pretty happy with this full face of first impressions. And yes, that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And if you did, then don't forget to comment and subscribe. It would mean a lot to me. Also, don't forget to check out all of my other social media, which will be listed in the bottom bar as usual for you guys. And I will see you guys next time. Till then, take care. Bye.